Hello YouTube, how are you doing? Gauss got both a hand last 20% longer. That means that for an elephant that has 400 food, you get 80 food extra. You have two bars, so 106 food. Each deer you get plus 28 food. So what can we do with that juicy extra food? Let's jump in, let's see this build order. We are going to do four men at arms into skirms with fast fletching because you have so much food that you can do that. Let's jump in. Okay, let's go, you gorgeous people. Let's see what we are going to do. And I was thinking, okay, the elephants last so long. What can we do? We actually can get that elephant as soon as possible. So, therefore, you actually need to scout a lot uh, of your map. You need to see where your resources are. But as soon as you have four on ship, you get the first boar or in this case the elephant. You see that you have 400 food, and that means you get 80 extra food from this elephant, okay? So, uh, and now let's start uh, the regular build order, okay? Because it's the same thing, you have 6 on food, you are going to have 4 on wood, okay? And that is the most important thing, because we are going to do a mana times build order, right? And we want to follow up with skirms, and we want fledging, so, it's so many things that you have with Goths that cost food, right? Of course, mana times are cheaper, right? In uh, Feudal Age, it costs 20% less resources. So, that means that only costs uh, 50, 48 food and 60 gold. So, it's really cheap. That's why we can do 4 mana times. But don't worry, if you are not able to do the 4 mana times, you can actually only do 3, if you feel more comfortable. But first try out and see how good are you do with this build order. So, uh, with 6 on ship, uh, or in this case on the elephant, it's a small strand, right? <laughs> uh, and 4 on wood, also always get one deer. I think that getting one deer as soon as possible is key to achieve this build order, okay? Uh, if you can get two, perfect, uh, in this build order I, I'm only showcasing with only one deer, okay? So uh, after having six under the town center, four on wood, I want to have a total of ten villagers under the town center. Okay, don't forget that the, this villager needs to build two houses, okay, and afterwards go to the mill. Okay, so you can see you have uh, you are killing the, the boar. Careful, don't forget that uh, Goss also has extra damage to the boars, so don't t try to do the town center trick, okay, uh, because you can shoot down the elephant. <laughs> Uh, it's happened to me, but you can see that the previous elephant lasts so long, you still are on the second elephant. So 80 plus 80, you are actually getting 160 extra food from these elephants. And it's the fastest, it's one of the fastest source in Arabia, it's the fastest food income source. So let's keep it going. So as I told you, after having 10 under town center, you start sending four to the berries. It's really important to scout, see what uh, your opponent is doing, uh, really important, see where is the opponent's berries. Okay? Because the, usually you want to hit the berries, the food income. Okay? Now, the 19th villager, or the 18th villager, that's the 18th pop, okay? The 19th pop, sorry, I mess up with numbers, but you can see up here what is the reference that you want. You build the barracks, okay? Also, it's really important that I forgot, completely forgot to mention. This is a 21 pop uh, build order, but it, it's gods. So, since you are doing loom and it's instant, okay? Loom is instant, so it's like you are doing this build order 25 seconds sooner. It's like a 20 pop build order with an extra villager that you spent 50 food, of course, but it's really important. 
So as soon as you click Feudal Age, you send a, three more villagers to the line. So you add four, you send three more to a total of seven. Okay, the last villager also builds the, the mining camp. Okay, so we have a total of two villagers on gold. And now the barracks, don't forget to build a house. Okay, and now you do your four militias. Okay, you are trying to lame, lamer bastard. But thank, thank God, don't lose your ships, okay? And now, don't forget, I like to do this with a forward archery. So what I'm going to do is sending these two villagers to the front. You see the 18 minute mark, 80, 30 seconds, it's the time to go in, okay? So you can see, 9 minutes, I'm already in the middle of the map. On the fog of war, I scouted everything. I saw the main gold, I saw the lumber camp, I saw the berries, so build the archery forward. Really important tip is uh, you can get the man at arms and the wood upgrade as well, okay? It's really important to get uh, the two upgrades, okay? And now you see the you have the archery range here, right in the opponent's space, because Let's pause a little bit and let's think, what is the counter to 4 mana terms? A. It is Scouts, B. It is Skirms, or C. It is Archers. You are correct, it's C, it's Archers. Therefore, if you have a Nashry range up front with Skirms, you are going to counter already those Archers, while the mana terms deal insane damage to every building, because you can see here that uh, one of the bonus is that infantry has plus one attack in Feudal Age against standard buildings, so they are even stronger against buildings. And we have already four, so it's more four damage to any building. Okay, so we read it's the berries. You also have two villagers, okay, here. So if for some reason you feel that uh, you don't. Um, you don't want the fourth villager. Don't forget, these two villagers have the almost the same HP, a decent attack, and one melee armor. So, so they are like militias, okay? So you can fight with them. As well, if the opponent is walling, you can also build the archery uh, or a tower, okay? So in this build order, I decided to open with the blacksmith because skirms with fletching they are even stronger. Okay, you see, I am building skirms, I'm finishing the blacksmith, I'm getting fletching, I'm getting every everything you can see up top uh, skirms, fletching, villager. Okay, and now already we have skirms with four man at arms, a scout killing everything. At home, you also can pull off these two villagers from gold. I forgot in this build order, but uh, you soon, as you have the archery, you can send them back. Don't forget, start transition to, to farms. That's why it's important sometimes to get the second or the third deer in this build order, so you have a better uh, food income, because each deer also is affected to this and lasting 20% longer. So therefore, they have 140 food, you are getting 28 extra food, okay? So it's even stronger. And now you can build bikes, you can build skirms, you can build whatever you want. And don't forget, just keep pushing and keep attacking and keep harassing. You see, I even building the tower just for uh, showing purposes, okay? So this is the, the build order, okay? I think it's really strong, especially getting fletching so early. Uh, I think that the four mana terms is it was kind of already normal, okay, and it could be done with an insane timing, but with the pikes, skirms, fletching, it's just another level. So let me know on the comments what do you think about this build order, and if you apply it and if you practice, let me know how it is going in your ranked games. So guys. I will go now, let me know as well on the comments what is the next build order that you want to see in this channel, okay? Also, if you don't want to do pikes, you also can do mana terms. It's another thing, they are cheaper, you are gods, they are cheaper, right? And with mana terms you actually can dive down centers. 
ok? And he says, GG well played, o setinhas, and you, GG well played, have a nice one, see you guys in the next video, bye bye!